The Applied Behavior Analysis Club sponsored the first annual Autism Walk on Sunday afternoon around Bibb Graves Quad. The club wanted to use the event to raise awareness for the developmental disorder that affects one in every 68 children. Our goal is to you know, you know, reach out to the community and let people know about autism. You know, um, one of the reasons we're handing out an informational brochure is because we want people to know there is a disability called autism, what are the characteristics, what, what's the treatment, what's the prevalence, so that we can help inform the community. The money raised during the Autism Walk will be used to fund a scholarship that will help autistic students. Metzger says that if the scholarship helps just one student, it's worth it. We want to fund a scholarship, so if a parent wanted speech therapy or they wanted applied behavior analysis therapy or occupational therapy, um, maybe there's um, a medical issue that they, they might need some financial assistance with. I said to the students, you know, if we, we reach one family and we help one family, then, then, then that's what we, we're done, we're good. For one ABA member, autism hit hard in her personal life after her brother was diagnosed with a disorder. And she says it's the little things that can make his day a good one. It was very hard for us at times, but we do work together all the time. And he actually, just to brag about him a little bit, he's now 15 and he's so excited about getting his um, permit. And he recently actually made an A on this scholastic little book thing quiz he had to do. And he's very, very excited. So shout out to him. <laughs> the ABA club hopes to make the autism walk an annual tradition. Justin Walker, Troy, Trojan Vision News.